Begin. Hello, hello. Welcome. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Oh, y Anna. Hello, Anna. Nice to have you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. We're going to have Gerardo as well. Thank you, Gerardo. Thank you so much for joining. It's nice to have you one more time. We're going to have section number five on going to a soccer match. It's going to be today's topic, making plans. Yes, class number 13. That's the one we're going to start uh, today. And um, thank you so much for joining uh, this uh, class. Okay. Uh, making plans. This is pre-intermediate English module number three. And this is class number two three yes we're gonna work with section number four and going to a soccer match oh look at this one making plans what are your plans for this weekend Anna Isela Janice what are your plans for this weekend um rest in, oh. in the house oh that's good right yeah that's that's a good plan yeah that's a good plan I hope that you can so you can have it okay let's begin with the first information about this one we're going to work with how to decline an invitation. As you may know, sometimes we get invited to some places, by right? different events that we can have. How to decline an invitation politely. Yeah. How do you do that? What are the phrases that you can use when it comes to declining on an invitation politely? Yeah. Not being rude is, is like one huge thing that we got to be careful, right? Yeah, we've got to use it um, correctly when it comes to declining something. Yes. So that's why we need to be, we need to use polite expressions. Here we have something about it. We're going to have, first of all, describing the picture. Isela, do me a favor, please. Look at the picture and describe it. What do you see here? Um, I two person. And talking. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's talking. Um, how do you say maletín? Oh, a suitcase. This is a suitcase. A suitcase. Okay. okay. Uh, he he have oh he has the suitcase. Okay. Um. I know. I, I don't know. Okay, that's good. Yeah. What are they wearing, Isela? What is the girl wearing and what is the gentleman wearing? Uh, sure. Oh. Ah. Oh. Se me olvida camisa manga larga. Like usually we say like shirt, your shirt. Shirt. Uh, yeah. Okay, shirt. Okay. Use, he 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 used shirt and pants color gray, gray. Um. She. Oh, what is? Mm -hmm. eh, no What sé is... cómo se le dice. Oh, a sweater? Uh, es un traje. Oh, like a suit? Like a sweater? No le escuché. Oh, like a sweater? Do you hear me? Sweater. Oh. Yeah, like a sweater. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, Sarah. That's Don't worry, okay? We're going to have this information. I want you to please read the information. Do me a favor. Um, Gerardo Jose, can you participate, Gerardo? Welcome. Good evening. Oh, please, do me a favor. Read this information that we have here, please. Let us know what is, what is this thing, please. 
please go ahead. How to, how to decline an invitation polite, politely. A friend has invited you to go out, but you can't make it. Follow follow our advice and learn how to how you can this decline an invitation politely and keep your friend. To thank to thank your friend, you can say thank you so much for asking me. It sounds like a lot of fun, and thank thanks so much for invite invite to polite and explain what you can accept. You can say sorry, but I sorry, but I already have planned. Sorry, but I have something else going on that day. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but but I can't make it. I'm really busy this day to offer another time to do something together you can say this week is crazy but let's shut for next week maybe another time i'm free next week i can i take a rain check do you feel comfortable declining friend invitation why why not what polite excuses have to use which are effective, which are not, what is the best tip in your op option and why. Thank you so much. We have a few mistakes here. As you may know, we have politely invitations. How to decline an invitation politely. We have these expressions that we can use when it comes like um, communicating something, right? Um. When, when like somebody invites you to an event, let's say like somebody invites you to a birthday party, to a baby shower, to a wedding, um, we can give this kind of, let's say, excuses and um, feel like free about it when it comes to refusing something, right? So we have this expression, thanks so much for asking me, yeah. Uh, uh, we have another one where it comes to apologize. Sorry. Yeah. The first one is to thank for it and then let, let them know that you're not going, right? That, that's a good thing. The other one is, again, you apologize. Oh, I apologize, right, for this. Uh, sorry about it. Yes, I'm so sorry. Also, you feel like, um, sorry about this. And the other way is like, when you like change, let's say, because cause you're busy by that day and you want to like say, oh, listen, uh, instead of going today, why we don't go um, at this day, right? So you're, you're like changing the time uh, for this one, right? Based on the scenario that we can have. Very good. Thank you so much. Marvin, question number one is for you. Do you feel comfortable declining friends invitations? Be honest, I, I feel... I'm sorry, I don't feel, I'm sorry, I feel comfort, I don't feel comfortable declining the invitation, friends, because I consider, for example, when someone invites to you, uh, you know, that person, uh, I mean, that person try to, I don't know how to display, but esa persona intenta como, Hacerte parte de, de sus planes. I don't know how to say that. The point is that in my case, sometimes I feel sad when I decline the invitation, the friend's invitation, because, you know, for example, sometimes I feel very, very happy to share time with my friends, or, for example, it's your birthday, you know, you invented your friends because you know you friend you feel like uh, for example a brother your friend for example and that is the reason that sometimes i feel bad when i decline declining friends invitation oh thank you so much very good marvin thank you so much um great job roberto carlos can you participate today or are you busy Roberto Carlos, are you working? Give me teacher. 
Oh. No teacher. Okay. I am driver. Oh, um, oh, you are driving. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Keep, keep doing it. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Catherine Suleima. Hello, Catherine. Welcome. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Ana Ruth Perez. Hello, Ana. Welcome. Good evening. Nice to have you. Catherine? No. Okay. Sebastiana Guadalupe. Hello, Sebastiana. Hello, teacher. Good I'm evening. Gl I'm glad to have you. Do me a favor. This question number two. What polite excuses have you used? Yeah. Which are effective and which are not? Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. I don't understand which are effective. I mean, excuses, excuses, polite excuses. When, when somebody invites you, right? And, yeah. and, and you, let's say, maybe you don't want to go or maybe you don't have the time to go. Yeah. Uh, which ones are effective or which ones are not? Mm, it, it depends because sometimes um, they there are uh, people that understand the situation but another people don't understand the situation yeah it, it depends uh, the invitation of what can i say um it's come up for me to say uh, oh thank you but uh, in this moment i can't uh because and i i have uh, an explanation about it or thanks so much for inviting me but, but in this moment i can't yeah, and in which like the phrases that you use, which ones like are the ones that people believe you, and which ones are the ones that people say, um, oh, no. Ah, uh, <laughs> for example, um, if someone invites me for, uh, go to a cafeteria or, or go to eat pizza, for example. And I have uh, time, but in this moment, I I don't want to go. Yeah, and and it depends uh, how can I. Dar seguridad, teacher. In English. I don't know. Uh... Or, or 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 que se ve en mí esa confianza. <laughs> to say that I don't know um, I don't know how to say that I'm sorry maybe you can or say be sure about can... it be sure it, about yeah. it yeah or yeah be sure about like something maybe yeah you can use yeah. that one uh-huh uh -huh. and, and it depends that that my uh, my face uh... <laughs> <laughs> your yes sir your yes sir uh -huh. right exactly uh -huh. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Thank you so much. Very good. The okay. next one is for you, Irma Suleima. What is the best tip in your opinion? What is the best tip? Tip. Uh, when it comes to, in, like... In my opinion, why um, sleep or, or, or flu? Oh, yeah. You get sick, right? When you get sick. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sick. I won't be there. Yeah. Well, oh, somebody because, because incomodo. No sé cómo se dice incomodo. You, you're not comfortable. You're not comfortable. Um, with, um, with who person? Okay. That's good. Excuse me? The last part, can you repeat the last word? With who person? Depende de la persona. Oh, it depends on. Oh, it depends of the person, right? It depends of the o person. Con sea. Yeah, exactly. With who you are going to be with. Yeah, very good. Yeah, thank you so much. That's true, right? Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. We're going to have another conversation, another practice here. Just give me a minute. I'm going to have it for you. Look at the picture, right? Look at this beautiful face here. She looks so happy. Yeah. Do you remember at the beginning of like your relationship with your husband or with your wife? 
Yeah, everything was happy, right? Everybody was happy, yeah, and eager. Are you, are you going? Jesus, give me a minute. I don't see the title. Are you doing anything tomorrow? That is the title here. Look at here. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are you doing anything tomorrow? What is tomorrow? Tomorrow. Mañana. Exactly. So that means that's the past, that's the present, or that's the future? Future. That's the future, right? So tomorrow is the future. Yes. Yesterday was the past. Today we have the present. And tomorrow we're going to have the future. We're going to have this conversation between Mike and Alicia where they talk about events in the future. What are they going to do? Yeah. So uh, let's listen, please, and read. Here we go. Unit 15. What are you doing later? Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Unit 15. What are you doing later? Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until 4. So let's go around 5. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Very good. Thank you so much. Question for you, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Oh, no. Catherine Nicole Salazar, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Do me a favor, please tell us, what is this conversation mainly about? Repeat, please, the question. Sure. What is this conversation mainly about? What is the purpose of this conversation? Okay, so oh, oh, let me tell you something. Uh, where are they going? Where are they going? See the new photo exhibit. Exhibit, right. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. And uh, what else are they going to do afterward? What else are they going to do afterward? Catherine? Okay, somebody help her, please. Somebody help Catherine. What else are they going to do afterward? Uh -huh. Are they going to have some chongenga? Are they going to have, I don't know, some minutas? What are they going to have afterward? Yeah. Uh -huh. Some dinner. Some dinner, exactly. Very good. Thank you, Anna Ruth. That is correct. Some dinner. Yeah, what's they going to have? Very good. So we're going to have this conversation. I'm going to play one more time the audio so you can listen. And then I will hear participation from you. Here we go. 
Unit 15. What are you doing later? Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Thank you so much. We're going to have uh, Irma. You are going to be Alicia. Um, Kathy. Kathy, you're going to be Mike. Please use your names and change roles when you finish. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow, so fine. I have class uni four. So let's go around five. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Hey, Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go to see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so so much for it's me, but I can I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We we call go go them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. So great. Sounds great. Thank you so Sounds much. Great. Sounds great. Very good. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And we're going to have Catherine Nicole. Hello, Catherine. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. Catherine Nicole, can you participate? Okay, maybe she's busy. We're going to pick somebody else. Sebastiana Guadalupe. Thank you. You are Alicia and Ana Isela Janes. You're going to be Mike. When you finish at the end, please switch roles so you can start over. Ready? Let's begin. Hey, Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm, I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We go good then? Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go, let's go around five. Okay, after war. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Hey, Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I am going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go with them. Tomorrow, some fine. I have class on the four. So let's go around five. Okay, after work. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Sorry. Yeah, thank you so much. Very good. Beautiful. Yes, Marvin, you're going to be Alicia. Um, Gerardo Jose. You are going to be Mike. When you finish at the end, please switch roles so you can start over. Ready? Ready. Wonderful. Let's begin. 
Okay. Hey Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thank you so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you, are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class in four. So let's go around fine. Okay, afterward, maybe we can, I'm sorry, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Hey Mike, what are you what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thank you so much for having me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sometimes I have class until four. So let's go around fine. Okay, afterwards, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds nice, great. I'm sorry. Very good, sounds great. Thank you so much. Who else wants to participate? Uh, Cause I am hearing like some of you got a problem with their mics. So uh, let me know if you want to participate. Um, no? Okay, let me tell you the attendance. So when you hear your name, please say present or oh, I'm here. Give me a minute, people. Here we go. Ana Isela Janes Angel. Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. I think I saw Ana Ruth. Uh, thank you so much, Ana. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Andrea. Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. Present teacher. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Francisco Valdomar Lopez Martinez. No, he isn't. Gerardo Jose Tepa Sanchez. I'm here, teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome. Good evening. Uh, Irma Suleima Grande de Cuellar. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Jose Edgardo Méndez Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Catherine Suleima Pocasangre Escobar. I think she's here, right? Yeah. I think Catherine, she's here. Oh, yes, Catherine. I got you. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. Present teacher. Good evening and welcome. Nice to have you. Kathy Jornada Dos Cruces. Teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Good evening. Marvin Alejandro Landa Verde Arias. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Oscar Otoniel Cruz Guzman. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Good evening. Roberto Carlos Alfaro Alberto. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Um, Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar Hernandez. I'm here. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Okay, let me check. Here we go. We're going to have the grammar part. Well, not the grammar. We're going to have the... Unit second, 15. The second part of this conversation where we have two questions. Question number one is, where Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? And the other one is, who are they going to meet for dinner? One more time. We have two questions about the rest of the conversation where we are going to answer them based from based on the audio yeah so question number one is about where where are alicia and mike going to have dinner so that means we need to find a place what's the name of this place who are they going to meet for dinner so we need to have a person in here in the number two so let's listen people and pay attention so you can answer these questions Page 100, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet for dinner? After the exhibit, do you want to go to the Korean house for dinner? Sure. 
I love their food. We can go around seven. Look, there's Garrett. Maybe he can join us. Yeah. Hey, Garrett. What are you doing tomorrow after class? Do you want to go to a photo exhibit with me and Mike? Then dinner at the Korean house? We're meeting at five. Oh, I have class till 6.30. But why don't I meet you for dinner later? Can you text me the address? Sure. Page 100. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet for dinner? After the exhibit, do you want to go to the Korean house for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around seven. Look, there's Garrett. Maybe he can join us. Yeah. Hey, Garrett. What are you doing tomorrow after class? Do you want to go to a photo exhibit with me and Mike? Then dinner at the Korean house? We're meeting at five. Oh, I have class till 6.30. But why don't I meet you for dinner later? Can you text me the address? Sure. Okay, so question number one, people. Let's take a look at this one. Mm -hmm. Tell me, where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? What is the name of this place? Korean food. A Korean, uh, okay, yeah, very good. It's Korean food, and what is the name of the place? In Korean house. The Korean house, very good. Thank you so much. And what about the other one? Who are they going to meet for, for dinner? Uh, see the four the four activity. Hey, no, I'm sorry. Thank you so much, Anna. That's very nice. Yeah, but now, the question is who. Remember when do we use who, Anna? Who is with people, right? Yes, with people. So that means I need they, to have. Uh, a, they invite uh, Garrett. A Garrett, exactly. So they they invite this gay guy that is called a Garrett. Okay, so that means uh, we have a boy here, as you may see, right? Garrett. So who? Yes, Garrett. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much on this one. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the next information that I have for you. Page just this one. We're going to have much worse in columns A and B, write the names of the events. So these are different events. We're going to put two together so we can talk about these events. Irma Suleyma, please read, read the vocabulary, Irma. This vocabulary, please, and then read this vocabulary, okay? Okay. Basketball, birthday, car, Clay class, American, rock, tennis, appointment, concert, game, ma match, ferry, race, reunion. Oh, very good. So we have some reunion. And we have reunion. a match, match, right? A match. party. Appointment. 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 Very good. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Okay. So we're going to use this word from column A and column B to make uh, events, right? What is the second event that we have here? Birthday party. Oh, we have a birthday party. That is correct. Birthday party. We have a birthday party. Thank you. What about the number three? Race car. We have a race car. Very good. We have a race car. Yes. Very good. Thank you. What about the number three? Uh, reunion class or class reunion? Oh, like the second option. Very good. Okay. Wonderful. Class reunion. Oh, my gosh. Class reunion. Very good, Anna. 
What about medical? Medical appointment. appointment. Yeah, this is like when you go to a Seguro Social, right? You get one medical appointment like in six months. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. So then you ended up in a private. In a private. <laughs> oh, it's yearly, right? Once in a year. You get an appointment. Yes. You get an appointment once in a year. Oh, I'm sorry about it. That's the worst thing, right? Yes, right? You got till you're like suffering a lot. Yeah. That's the way they, they uh help you, right? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. We're full. But maybe you can have an appointment in like in 11 months <laughs> till November. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry about it. Okay. <laughs> and, um. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Then we have the next one. What is this one? Oh, look at this one. Uh-huh. Rock concert. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, rock concert, right? I remember Aerosmith? Yes. I remember ACDC? Yeah, right. Bowie? Yeah. Yeah. Also, we have... Uh-huh. Uh, Guns and Roses. So there's another one, right? It's very like popular. Yes. Um, good music. Yeah, we have these singers from the eighties and the nineties and then yeah, pretty much eighties and seventies. Good people, right? Good voices. Good voices. Yeah. Good rock concerts. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, what about tennis? What is the other one? Tennis. Match. Tennis match. Okay. Okay, so as you notice, uh, these are events. Yes, events. And sometimes we can get an invitation uh, yeah, for one of these ones. So sometimes you can get an invitation for a boys' baseball game. Sometimes you get an invitation for a birthday party. If you love cars, right? Yeah, maybe they can invite you to a car, right? A race car. Uh, also, if you do you remember when you were in high school? Yes. Right, maybe uh somebody can do like something, and they can invite you to uh, well, uh in public school, because I come from a public place, um they usually they don't do that, but private places, yeah, I mean usually private schools, they sometimes have this class reunion, yeah, right. So like I was hearing like for example from the Caldone, right? They usually have a class reunion. Yeah, from high school. It's quite interesting. Yeah, sounds quite good. Medical appointment, where we talked about this one before. Yeah, rock concert also. If somebody invites you to a rock concert, that's your best friend forever. Yeah. If somebody invites you to a rock concert, that's your best friend forever. Yeah. Be close to that person. Because that that person loves you a lot. And then tennis match. A tennis match is difficult here in El Salvador, right? I think that's that's for people that got some money. Because here in El Salvador, we don't have a lot of tennis court. Yeah. So maybe we have a tennis court, maybe at, um, I don't know. Circulo Militar is one. La US, they got one, I guess. Uh, yeah, we don't have too many. Maybe Santa Tecla, right? They got some places where you can go and play tennis, but not is there is not everywhere, yeah. So we don't have a lot of of these things like oh, um, so we can go and play tennis, yeah. You know what I mean? I think the government should invest a little bit more on that one. Maybe El if you Encanto. go to La, excuse me. El Encanto is very popular. Oh. To play. Where is that? Where is that located, Marvin? Here where I live in San Jose Nueva. Oh, there is like a tennis court over there for people? Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's good. Look at that one. I never I never thought about it. Yes, I never thought about it. What can you repeat the name of the place, please? El Encanto. El Encanto. What is the place? You tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry. San Jose Nueva. San Jose Villanueva. Oh, what is that located? Cabañas? No, La Libertad. Oh, La Libertad. That is close to Lourdes, Colón, no? 
is close to Zaragoza. Oh, it's going like to this uh sunset, right? This is sunset. Oh, going to the uh this thing that is called oh yes, going to El Puerto de la Libertad, right? I guess yeah, that is right. Zaragoza. Zaragoza is a very small place. Yeah, it's a very small place. Yeah, and it's very crowded nowadays. A lot of people, right, on the street. Oh, very good. Thank you so much, Marvin, for sharing that. That sounds pretty amazing. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Here we go. We're going to have the following video about the grammar part. I want you to take a look on this one. Watch it carefully because we have a lot of examples related to this. And then we will discuss about it. Here we go. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus a verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus B plus subject plus verb plus ING plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this. WH question word plus be, plus subject, plus going to, plus infinitive verb, plus complement, and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. So basically, mainly, this thing is about the future yes we have we're gonna talk about two ways of doing so 
which is future with present continuous, and the other one with be going to. Yes, so we can talk about this one, right? As you see, with present continuous, we have these typical questions, and with be going to, which is pretty much the same thing about the future, is another structure. Yes, so if you notice here, we have something like quite easy. What are you doing tonight? But with going to is what is she going to do tomorrow? Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are they going to see the photo exhibit? So if you notice here, we go straight with present continuous. Here we have the time expression when it comes the future. Tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. So that whenever you talk about a day that is coming in, well, that's the future. You know what I mean? For example, if you want to talk about tomorrow, that's the future. Wednesday, that's the future. Thursday, and so on and so on and so on. Christmas is the future. Black Friday is the future, right? So save money so you can go and spend that thing on Black Friday. Sometimes we get some cachadas, right? On Black Friday, sometimes. It's like not, not, not all the time, but sometimes we can get some cachadas. That's good, yeah. That's good. Uh, then at the end here in this one, we have use the present continuous to talk about something that is happening now. For example, what are you doing? I am studying. Yeah, I am listening. I am watching. In, um, I am watching a movie. I am eating pupusa, right? You also use the present continuous with expressions to talk about the future. So two contexts. The first one is about the action you are doing it at the moment. I'm sorry, give me a minute. So the first use that we have with present continuous is to talk about something that you do at the moment. Yeah, so that means that you can have, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Yeah, and the second use here is about the future. Yes, the present continuous with expressions to talk about what are you doing tomorrow? Oh. And working. What are you doing this weekend? And having a party. What are you doing? I don't know. On Friday. Oh, I'm going to be traveling to Japan. What about this one? We use be going to, to talk about the future. This one only helps me to talk about the future. Going to is just the future. You know what I mean? But present continuous, we have two uses. The first one is to talk about action happening at the moment. And the second use here, we have it at the future. So just be careful with present continuous because it depends on the context. You know what I mean? Yes, it depends on the context. Okay. So for example, if I ask you, excuse me, Marvi, what are you doing now? I receiving classes. Very good. I am taking classes. Very good. Wonderful. Right? So that is present continuous. What about now, Marvin? What are you doing tomorrow? I gonna I gonna to work. Oh, in that one, if the question is with I... R with present continuous, you need to answer with present continuous. If the question is with going to, you need to answer with going to. Yes. So I am working. Oh, very good. Exactly. Right. So this is the second meaning, right? We can use the present continuous with future. So, and time expression is the key, right? This time expression. For example, what is this one? Um, what is Maria? doing now this is the future or present continuous present continuous present, present, present continuous. continuous if you see here we have a keyword right which is now now well it's at the moment but if i use for example the same question and i change the time expression that that's different what is Maria doing 
tomorrow. Yes? So if you notice the context changes. Why? Because of the time expression, right? So you need to be active listening carefully so you can figure it out. Oh, this person is talking about the present continuous and this person is talking about the future. Why? Because of the time expressions that we have here. This is with present continuous. With be going to, ese siempre va a ser para el future. Ese no tiene otro use. The only use is future. Yes, el be going to. Any question about this? Any question about it? Tell me. No? Okay, we're gonna have some practice in here. Don't worry. Let's 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 listen the, the, the practice. Let's work with the practice. Teacher, o sea que el goins es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Y el gona es lo que vamos a ir a hacer. Um, no, I'm sorry. Los dos, right? Los dos son the future. This, estos dos son the future. Yes. Pero, however, but, el, tenga cuidado con el present continuous. ¿Qué es, ¿Qué es esto? Why? Porque el present continuous, uno de los usos es to talk about the moment. ¿Qué hace ahorita? Right? Ese es uno de los usos. Y el uso, what we are here, having here, es acerca del future. Yes. Entonces, usted tiene que tener cuidado, right? Y por eso le subrayaba aquí, right? So you can have el time expression, le va a ir dando usted la pauta cuando está hablando de algo que está sucediendo at the moment o cuando es something about the future, pero con present continuous. Este que está acá, going to, ese siempre va a ser para future. Ese siempre es future, no matter what. Pero el present continuous, pues tiene pues varios usos, right? Uno de ellos es action at the moment y la otra es future. Yes, Irma? Mm -hmm. So, just, just be careful with that one. Pero el time expression, que son estas de acá, right? Eso le ayuda a usted a indicar. Yes, right? Por ejemplo, el tonight, si está en la mañana y usted dice, oh, I'm sorry, I'm having dinner with my friends tonight. Si usted dice eso in the morning, pues por lógica, right, está trabajando in future porque tonight is going to be the future. Yes, right. If you're talking about tomorrow, oh, I'm having a party tomorrow. And uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not inviting you. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. You're not invited. Very good. So, be careful with time expression. El time expression nos ayuda a lot in English para estar seguros about the context. Because hay unos que son dependiendo del context. Yes, con el future tenemos también also el present simple para hablar del future. Yeah, pero eso lo vamos a ver later on this. Okay. Yeah. Good question, Irma. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Okay, let's get some practice in here. Here we go. Okay, let me see. Page. We're going to have this one. It says, read Job's calendar and write about his plans each day. Use the present continuous. So we're going to use the present continuous. Okay. It's Sunday afternoon. Joe is going to play tennis. So here we have play tennis with Brooke. Okay. What about the other one? What is the sentence? In number two. Mm -hmm. What is the day on? Uh -huh. Monday. Exactly, on Monday. Very good. Joe. Mm -hmm. Attend the manager's meeting at work. Okay, is attending. Very good. Um, the managers. Sorry. Meeting. Our work. Very good. Very good. Oh Jesus! It's not a. It's not a question. Okay. 
So this is the way we have it, as you may see. On Monday, Joe is attending the manager's meeting at work. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's work with the next one. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is number three? What is the day? On Tuesday. On Tuesday. Exactly right. On Tuesday. Remember that days of the week goes with capital letter. Don't forget that. Joe, what is next? He's going At to see a movie. Okay, it's going to, very good. It's going to see a movie. With Angela. With Angela. Yeah. Also, we can have the time if you want to at 6 p.m. If you want, right? You can add the time at the end. Okay, uh, on Tuesday, Joe is going to see a movie with Angela at 6 p.m. Beautiful people. Very good. What is the next one? Number four. What do we have in number four? Mm -hmm. What is the sentence in number four? Uh huh. On Wednesday. Okay, on Wednesday, very good. On Wednesday, sorry. On Wednesday, Joe, one more time. Uh -huh. Is going. Okay, is going. Nine. No, I'm sorry. Is going to. No, I'm sorry. We need the bird. It's going to watch. It's going to watch. watch. Very good. The soccer. Thank you. Very soccer. good. Match. Wing. With. With. Annie, Annie. right? Annie and Bob. And Bob. Okay. On Wednesday. Maybe here we can add on Wednesday at night if we went yeah oh my gosh sorry at night yeah so maybe we can add it here if we want so we can because sounds like um somehow better yeah so on wednesday at night joe is going to watch the soccer match with annie and bob very good what about the next one we have thursday okay so, what is the sentence? Thank you. On, very good. What is next? Mm. Tuesday. On Thursday, very good. Oopsie, I'm sorry. Thursday, we can add, what is next? What is the part of the day? At noon. Perfect, good, at noon, thank you, comma. He, we're gonna change with he, cause I don't know what I write. Okay, he, what is next? He's going to have lunch. Very good. He's going to have lunch. I'm sorry, it's going to have lunch. With Paco. With Paco, right. Oh, Paco. Okay, very good. So, this is the way we can make them, right? We're talking about the future pretty much. Yes. So, uh, and this is the way we do it. It's somehow, it's easy, but sometimes it's quite long because we got to follow the structure. Yes, so we can figure it out. Remember that you can use present continuous or you can use 
um, the future to talk about this um, thing. Okay, so um, you can like change it depending on the ones, the things that you want to communicate, present continuous or uh, future with be going to. Yes, just um, don't forget, don't forget that at the end when it comes to communicate something in the future, it depends on your purpose, depends on the thing that you can have. So that means like if you feel comfortable using present continuous, go ahead and use it. If you feel comfortable using the, the future we're going to, use that one as well. I'm sorry, it's time to go to bed. We're gonna practice tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow we have classes. Okay, so be here tomorrow. Thank you so much, people. Have a wonderful night and see you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Good evening. You do the same. Bye bye. Take care. Good night.